MRCEM OSCE course. Preparatory for the Royal College of Emergency Medicine. UK OSCE exam. Website www.mrcemoscecourse.com. Facebook page MRCEM OSCE course. Hello, dear colleagues. This is Mohammed Abdul Ghani Sadiq, co founder and instructor of MRKM OSCE course. Today, I would like to speak about hip joint examination, which is frequently appearing station in the MRKM OSCE exam. During the one minute outside the examination room, you will find the scenario uh, of a patient sustained trauma to his uh, hip joint, either by motor vehicle collision or by fall. And also the pie chart will, uh, will be largely for examination, but you will have a small part for history and small uh, areas also for clinical reasoning and management plan. So once the bell is ringing, get inside, wash your hands, introduce yourself to the patient, confirming your position in the emergency department and confirm patient identity and age, offer painkiller if needed, and also ask for chaperone and uh, give the patient open question uh, like how can I help you today so he can explain to you the circumstances uh, regarding his presentation to ER. Then ask him to expose the area and to uh, uh, stand up for you in preparation for the examination. Start examination of the hip joint by assessing the gait of the patient. Uh, usually they will be limping. Uh, please help them if they are limping, help them show empathy, okay? And don't just stay uh, standing out there and giving instructions. Show empathy to the patient. Uh, and then uh, check the uh, inspection because this is great opportunity to have a look to the hip joint from the front side and back while the patient is standing and also the third task while the patient is standing is to assess the Trendlenburg test to check if there is any abductors uh, hip abductors weakness then ask the patient to lie on the couch for you assess he is comfortable or not if he needs more, more painkiller then please provide him and then proceed to palpation start by checking the temperature skin warmth and then check for tenderness over the greater trochanter and then over the uh, anterior superior iliac spine over the anterior part of the thigh uh, of the over the quadriceps uh, tendon and also over the gluteal region and scale tuberosity also from uh, this point assess the aberrant and true leg length the aberrant you need the tip the aberrant leg length from the sternum up to the uh, medial malleus bilaterally while the true leg length is from the uh, anterior superior iliac spine up to the ipsilateral uh, medial malleus bilaterally also then uh, go to assess the movement movement we have active and passive movements of the hip joint so the active movement the patient will do it himself Ask him to make flexion of the hip, extension, abduction, adduction, and then inform the patient that you would like to do the same uh, movements by yourself for him. And also do it again, flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, and also internal rotation and external rotation of the hip. Then now it's the time to do a special tests and uh, mention that clearly so the examiner is following you as well. We have two special tests 
regarding the hip joint. We have the Thomas test and Faber test. Thomas test to check for sacroiliitis and uh, uh, sorry, Thomas test to check for fixed flexion deformity, not not sacroiliitis. So Thomas test to assess for uh, fixed flexion deformity. Just inform the patient that you are going to put one hand uh, behind or below his lower back to alleviate any lumbar lordosis and then uh, help the patient to make flexion to the epsilateral hip and if this associated with flexion of the contralateral one then this patient has uh, fixed flexion deformity then the other test which is the Faber test and this is mnemonic for flexion abduction and external rotation so it's clear that you will make uh, flexion to the hip and a little abduction also to the hip and then external rotation so he will put his uh, ipsilateral uh, ankle joint over the contralateral uh, thigh of the uh, other uh, leg and then apply gentle downward pressure over the knee so you will make uh, this if associated to his pain over the back lower back of the patient then this uh, this patient has uh, sacroiliitis now we complete the examination state that to complete your examination you would like to examine the lumbar spine and also the hip joint and also you would like to do complete neurovascular examination of the lower limbs then thank the patient inform him that you completed your examination uh, also offer to help him get dressing again and make sure he, he is pain free and then speak to him about the management plan and about your diagnosis or if the examiner sometimes will come and ask you so uh, likely if there is a motor vehicle collision or fall likely you might need to perform an x-ray uh, for initial assessment if needed please do imaging only if needed sometimes they will bring you a patient that he feels pain over his medial aspect of the thigh while uh, jogging for example so obviously this patient doesn't need uh, an x-ray because uh, it's clear this is just a muscular strain so if not needed don't perform any imaging if needed uh, then proceed and give the patient the uh, opportunity opportunity to discuss with you in, if he has any concern as well so uh, as you can see it's straightforward and I think this station uh, should be in your back pocket if you would like to pass the exam best, best luck